Hi everyone, here is a special 3K video. You know, it's not easy for me to speak in front of the camera, especially in English, but you, you choose the gear tool, so here we go. Okay, I will start with the amps. Uh, I don't use my amps at home, it's too loud. Um, I just plug my guitar into my computer for practicing, recording demos or recording guitar covers. All my amps are in the rehearsal room at my drummer house. Uh, here is a picture of them. So I got the EVH 5150, PV, Triple X and Angle Fireball. I change, sometimes I use the EVH, sometimes the PV, but my favorite is the Angle. And I always play with my Angle in live with my band. And I would like to have another Angle. I, I love the Angle Savage, so maybe one day. I will buy this one. Pedals. This one, this pedal is the most important for me. It's a Wami DT. DT for detune. You know all my guitars are tuned to E flat with a Floyd Rose. So I use this pedal to change the tuning for the different guitar covers. So it's very useful for me. Um, you have the Digitech drop, but with the Digitech drop you can only go down. This one is very good because you can go in both sides, so I can go down to be in D, to be in C, whatever, and can go up to be in E. So yes, it's a very important pedal for, for me, for YouTube covers, WAMI, DT. I don't use uh, the WAMI, I don't use the WAMI, maybe one day if I do a Rage Against the Machine cover, but I think it will not happen. Now let's take a look at my pedal board. Okay, so... It's a pretty simple setup. I like when it's simple, especially in a live situation. Uh, I don't want to have 10 pedals to use. Uh, the main sound comes from the amp and the signal start here with the Line 6 G30, the wireless. Then go into the TC Electronic Polytune. If I don't need the wireless, I can plug my guitar directly here. Then into the wah. I don't use wah very much, but when I use the wah, I use a Morley. I love Morley, you know it's switchless pedal, you put your foot on, it's on, you remove your foot, it's off, so you don't have to hit the pedal at the end of the guitar solo, and playing, and my sound is weird, why? Because your, your Y is still on, I think it's happened to every one of us, so yes, Morley is great for that, the automatic switch. So this one is a Mark Tremonti, but I change, I, al I also have the George Lynch, Dragon War and the Steve Vai Battle C. Actually, the Tremonti is loading on my pedal board, but sometimes I change. Then, the classic Tube Screamer to, have, to add more chug on the sound. And at the end, to clean the signal, a noise gate, ISP decimator, that all. And on the effect loop, I only have one pedal. This one is a Spanish brand. It's called Termion. Uh, I will put a link on the description. So it's a Spanish brand, handmade pedal, very, very good quality. This one is a um, signature model of the Andrew Sapatrola guitar player. So it's a two in one pedal, it's a boost and a delay. So you have three different delay modes and the classic delay setting like time, feedback, and mix. And the, the red knob is for the boost. So very easy in live for guitar solo. Only one pedal to you to, to switch on and switch off. So it's a um, simple but effective pedal board for playing trash. I don't need them anymore. Okay, guitars. This one, ESP M2. This one is my first real guitar, real. My first expensive guitar, real guitar. Before that, I played on um, an old Jackson Randy Walls, an old Chili BC Rich Warlock. So I got it. I got this one. I think eleven years, eleven years ago. Yes. So this one is my favorite for the playability. You know the neck, the neck profile is perfect for me. Not too round, not too flat. Uh, it was loaded with uh, EMGs. I played a lot of years with active pickup. Now I'm too, I'm more into passive pickup, so I change them. It's uh, Samuel Duncan jazz on the neck and custom five on the bridge. This one sound something, this one custom five. Very good pickup. 
Okay, next one, ESP, Horizon. Uh, yeah, this one is very great with the wide bending. It's a very beautiful guitar. Uh, it comes with the classic same modern concept, you know, the 59 and GB, but I need more output. So now it's a same modern can distortion on it. And it's from, it, it's, it sounds great. Um, I also add some lumin lays here to see on the dark. So, so ESP Horizon is a very beautiful guitar. I was in love with my Horizon, so I need another one. Uh, I got this one maybe a few months later. I need to sold a lot of gear. I sold a beautiful Jackson Demolition. Now I regret to, to sold it, but maybe I will buy another one, another, another Jackson Demolition. So another ESP Horizon. It was a very good deal. It was like new, like the previous owner never play on it. Uh, you can see here the battery. So yes, it was EMG on it but now it's a passive pickup I tried a lot of pickup on it maybe 10 different pickups uh, now it's a same old on full shred on the neck and on the bridge and um, yes I love this one this beauty this beautiful red it's uh, it's called see through red so another beautiful ESP horizon okay this one is uh, my last ESP it was a present from my wife for my 40 years old birthday last year and look look at this shape it's just perfect to play thrash metal it's like a, it's like a weapon it's a sharp like a knife maybe you can kill someone with it so it's a beautiful guitar uh, EMG is on it I want to change the pickup but I don't take the time to, to do it so maybe I will try the the new EMGs because it's a uh, 81 and 85. I never tried the new EMGs um, 57 and no, yes, yeah, 57 and 66. Or maybe I will try the the new generation of of active like the Fishman. Now everyone plays on Fishman, but I don't know. Or I will put passive pick up pick up on it. I don't know. Tell me in the comment section if you have any suggestion for pick up on this guitar. Very very nice. Beautiful guitar. Okay, Ibanez RG2610. I love this one. Only one pickup, only one knob. So the the first pickup was a uh, same modern can full shred. This pickup is now on the Red Horizon, and I try this one. It's a pa parallel axis because of Brandon Ellis. I also add this custom knob on it. It's a good guitar, but. I don't use it a lot. Maybe I think I played twice in life with it. Now it just stay at home and I use it just for guitar covers. Okay, the last one, Jackson Dinky made in Japan. This one is sick. I bought it for 400 euros. So, and it's, it's a very, very good guitar. You know, it's uh, not expensive, but it sounds sick. Uh, I use it for my band albums. All the guitar solo on my band albums are recorded with this one uh, because I don't know I love the, the neck profile it's like the, the M2 not too round not too flat I love the, the sound of the maple fretboard and the, the feeling of the maple fretboard so yes this one is, is great for, for shred I just changed the, the Floyd for a better tuning stability this one is a Shaler Blockmaster it was a Jackson on it at first but now it's a very good guitar for a low price. Jackson made in Japan, Dinky. Okay, for strings, I play Ernie Balls in the beginning. So Ernie Ball 9 to 46 in E flat. And for guitar picks, I played a lot of years with the Ibanez Paul Gilbert signature picks. But with my band, we, want, we wanted to have a custom pick. So now I use Intune Guitar Picks. I don't remember the, the name of the, the model. So Intune Guitar Picks, my band name in one side and French Russia on the other side. That's all for my gear. So in my wish list, I would like to have an Angle Savage head and another 
Jackson Demolition, you know, I sold the last one and if I can find a, a beautiful Jackson Demolition made in Japan, a good deal on the internet, maybe I will try to buy this one. So thanks again for the support, for the 3K and see you soon.